Alright, hello there, I'm AC and today I'm going to show you how the pipes in Charset work. For those of you who don't know, Charset is a collection of mods I've been working on for Minecraft 1.8.8, which is going to include many modules. As of right now, it includes a module for pipe systems and for little tweaks to the Minecraft gameplay experience. There are many other modules planned, however. This is one of the tweaks, and I stumbled toward tweak code and suggested in 1.7.10 by Copygirl. And this is an example of a pipe system. To the left we have a cobblestone generator from the crisscross mod, and here we have pipes and shifters around them. Let's enable one of the shifters. This shifter extracts items from an inventory opposite the direction it's pointing to the pipe. Now pipes always prefer to go in straight lines and will never go to into other directions unless the inventory is full or their path is prioritized by another shifter. As you can see here, enabling this shifter made all the items go into this chest. And disabling that shifter makes them go into this chest again. This is a slightly more complex pipe system. Shifters can have filters on them, like this one can filter cobblestone, this one can filter smooth stone. Each shifter can have five different filters, one of each side, except the side facing the pipe. Let's turn the system on. As we can see, cobblestone and smooth stone is being extracted, and cobblestone goes in this chest as it's prioritized by this shifter, while smooth stone goes into this chest. Of course, we wouldn't really need a shifter here. So this is all you need to know about how the system works. However, there are some edge cases. What happens if an inventory is full? This chest, for example, is filled with a very useless material. If we start pushing the items through, in this case sponges, they will stop as they have nowhere to go. If we place another inventory to the right, they will unfreeze, but they will freeze again once we remove that inventory. And if we make space in the inventory, they will also continue moving. This is a slightly more interesting example. Stop charge at time will enable these shifters and extract will enable this shifter. If we start extracting, the oak planks will go through normally, but if we enable the stop, the wooden planks here will stop and then we can unfreeze it at any time and freeze it again. This will become much more useful when a method for detecting items is added. So this is pretty much the entire pipe system, thanks for watching, and as a bonus you can see one extra tweak. Diable minecarts, like in cart livery, but a much lighter implementation. Also, there's a lot of wires here, and they come from another module. Now, as a last and final note for those of you who are still watching, mm, it might sound a bit weird that I'm the one doing a 1.8.8 mod, but something that very few people realize is that um, the API has have really improved, and they've improved to the point where I feel that it's enjoyable working with the new Minecraft version, and this is proof of that, so I think that the era in which 1.8 was terrible is now sort of over and we can actually enjoy the improvements that weren't talked about much. So thanks for watching and enjoy the most to come, because I think we're up for some really great things in the future. Bye!